about the ramifications of the city of Lade and coming out of the city of Lade for for all of us. Uh, so, uh, I already read the first episode of the next uh, season, and as you guess, we're still in the, uh, in the tower. And uh, we're just dealing, we, we pick up immediately after, after the City of Light, uh, and uh, there's a lot of carnage, and a lot of guilt, and a lot of um, doubt, and insecurity and then we get hit with the news that you know um, Ali told us that the radiation is gonna hit us in six months so we're just dealing with all of that immediately I'm sure there's gonna be a lot you know our show is so action-packed I don't know we're so much plot driven rather than character driven you don't but we'll have to, won't we? There'll have to be moments of um, what have we done? What have I done? What has Bellamy done? You know, and and who's there will be those moments. I, I hope they they come out on screen, you know, because we I read the first episode and it's so full of action. You know, so. I mean, what was that like to play um, this past season? You know. Um, in the city of light and kind of under the influence of uh, really not knowing what you're doing. Yeah. Was that challenging? How challenging? Uh, to be honest, to be honest, it's kind of you're just going. I mean, we all we all played it differently. Um, I, I sort of said, well, this is what I'm going to do. But then I watched the other actors and thought, oh, you're doing it differently. There was no, I felt there was no sort of set way of doing it. You know, I mean, am I completely zombie? Am I brain control? You know, or some people had a lot more freedom of movement. Um, but it was just personal. How was it to play? It was, you know, it's fine. <laughs> I think um, Kane has always been, since he arrived on the, on the Earth, uh, I think his, his mission has always been to, to find a peaceful way for, for, for the, his people and for the grounders to survive. I think he's going to carry on with that. You know, I think it's cool to have, um, especially today, now, what's happening in the world, you need, you need to have a, 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 a character, a hero, who is, you know, cool for, for choosing the peaceful way you know not the cool people should not be the ones who kick ass although they are you know on our show there's a lot of death and brutality and, and, and kick assness um, but Kane's going to carry on with that path I think so he is going to be like an ambassador to uh, whoever's in um, or is he in charge I don't know we'll see with who? <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's going to be kind of interesting. Uh, now that they've sort of expressed their love, whatever you want to call it, for each other, or their their desire for each other, I suppose. Um, it'd be interesting to see it. You know, we have this time. This the human race could potentially end in six months. What? are those two going to do? Are they going to plant vegetables and watch sunsets? You know, that could be a, a, a choice. Or are they going to um, try and, and stop this from happening? I'm guessing the latter. Uh, uh, I don't know. We'll have to see where that goes. With the, no commander, guys, last question. With no commander now, are we talking about the political discussion? Right. That's going on? Yeah. So, of course, there's a vacuum that needs to be filled and somebody will try and fill that and that's that's pretty much where season one uh, what I was talking about is, is so action packed where that vacuum is almost immediately filled will the grounders and the archers will they be contentious or as always <laughs>